Hi, and welcome to Granger Reads. I'm Edwin Diss, and I'm here with... Mrs. Savea. Mrs. Savea, nice having you here. And uh, what book do you have for us today? I have The Rent Collector by Cameron Wright. That's cool, that's cool. Can you give yeah. us a brief summary of what this book's about? Sure. Um, it's a great book. It's about a family, a father and a mother and their son. They lived out in the dump in Cambodia. Mm. Really inspiring story. Um, and it's about their struggle, day-to-day -day struggle. Um, the dad would go out and collect um, recyclables and try to um, gather out stuff to try to get money to pay for the for their rent and to get food. Um, but all throughout the story, it's very inspiring how they live. Um, they have their little son who's uh, really sick every day. Wow. And the mom has to take care of him while the dad is out trying to put things together to bring food home. Okay. But it's a really interesting story um, all throughout. It's really long, but <laughs> it's really good. Okay, that sounds, that sounds really cool and interesting. Um, did you feel anything while reading this book? Like happiness, sadness, any situations? Um, hope, um, inspiring, um, empowering at the same time. As a mother, I can relate to the mother of the story, um, how she tries to do the best for her family. Um, but throughout the story, it talks about the rent collector, who's this mean, drunken lady who would yeah. come every time and try to get money to pay for their rent. And um, she one day caught this book that was laying on the side that the mom had found, didn't know how to read it, but the rent collector did, and they um, bonded through this book and made, uh, created this relationship that they could read together. Um, that the rent collector could teach this mom hmm. how to read and the mom knew that would be the only way out of this dump and to um, create a life for her son. So it's a very um, inspiring and I can relate to it. I have a little boy oh. um, <laughs> and uh, you know as a mother you just want the best for your kids and, yeah. and I think this mom knew that this was going to be the way out to help her son was to be able to read and get out of the dump in wow. a way. So. Yeah, and uh, did, this, did this book make you think of anything in particular? Or? Um, yeah, I think of a lot of things. I think with this book, um, it can touch not only just me as a mother, but as for the young ones, it, it gives you hope really that um, education could be the way out from yeah. whatever the path might be that you've seen in your own life. Um, and just wanting the best for yourself, but for everybody else in the family. Um, and in a way, too, with, uh, with this book, I think about our own kids in the school and the kids that I work with as a counselor um, and seeing sometimes we don't fully understand their story until you really seek out and sit and listen. And, yeah. and this book kind of teach a part of it and um, how it just unfolds throughout the whole story of this mom who's wanting the best. And in a way, this uh, rent collector mean <laughs> lady um, seemed to be mean but really not ended up bonding with this young mom uneducated living in the dump um, and they have kind of given each other this lesson of um, um, finding the best in each other so towards the end she doesn't get all mean anymore <laughs> the rent collector gets all nice oh that's good that's yeah good. and yeah. Uh, do you have any quotes we can take from this we can learn from yeah um I, I i look at our lives the most important difficult battles in life sometimes are those fights that we have within yeah so um it's a uh Chinese proverbs, but the most difficult battles in life are those that we fight within. So sometimes, again, not knowing the stories of maybe what you have come from and why, where I come from, um, we face struggles, battles in our own lives in different ways. And so um, those are the best fights because when you overcome them, it helps you to be a stronger person, you become a better person, and you grow from those mistakes or yeah. maybe um, the joys of those struggles, I guess. I, I completely agree with you. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here with us. And yeah, have a great time. Back to you. I don't know how to end it. I don't know. <laughs>